Principles and Practice of Surveying, Q&A Review, Question 22. This is a simple question, but it has a lesson which every surveyor should know, and a lesson which is heavily tested on the PS exam. So let's jump into it. There once was a farm owned by Mr. Green that measured 200 feet by 400 feet. Because of some medical debts he needed to pay, Mr. Green conveyed, quote, the west 150 feet of my farm to Mr. Brown. Later on, a survey was conducted, and oh my God, it was discovered that Mr. Green's farm only measured 394 feet wide, not the 400 feet as everybody thought. What statement best describes the size of tracks owned by Green and Brown? So basically, now that we have the true location and the true size of the original Green farm, who owns what? Our map here shows the original plat that went with the Brown conveyance. And as you see, Brown gets 150 feet and green gets 250 feet. 400 minus 150, 250. Other way around, 400 minus 250 equals 150. And that's all good and well. But what the heck is going to happen when we shrink this farm by six feet? Is Mr. Brown going to lose or is Mr. Green? Let's read some possible answers, and then we can put our thinking cap on and decide. A. Mr. Brown owns a 200 by 150 parcel because Green's deed is earlier in time than Brown. B. Mr. Brown owns a 200 by 144 foot parcel because Green's deed is earlier in time than Brown. C. Mr. Brown owns a 200 by 150 foot parcel because the seller of the property is junior in title after he sells a portion of land to the buyer. That's a mouthful. And fourth, Mr. Brown owns a 200 by 144 foot parcel because first in time, first in right, is common law. Gosh, all of these answers sound so convincing. What am I going to do? The principle in this lesson is that the clock is not always king. If you pick up a copy of Clark, Brown's, Evidence Procedure, all of these great textbooks, you hear about junior, senior rights. And the idea is that first in time, first in right. So if you have an older parcel, that will be senior to a newer parcel. It makes so much sense. But how messed up would it be if a seller conveyed a piece of property for good money to a buyer, and then years or decades later comes back and says, I know I sold you this parcel, but just kidding, it's actually so many feet or so many thousands of feet short than I thought it was. That wouldn't be very fair, would it? So, first in time, first in right, except when the buyer takes from the seller. When a seller sells property, he automatically becomes junior in title. So because Mr. Green and Mr. Brown's boundary was created by the sale from Green to Brown, therefore, Mr. Green is now junior to Mr. Brown. Wow, this took a turn faster than a Agatha Christie novel. So the answer is C. Mr. Brown owns a 200 by 150 foot parcel because the seller of a property is junior in title after he sells a portion of his land 
to the buyer.